Hello everybody, welcome to Dark Shed Live. Uh, it's the... I have to check every day, don't I? It's the 12th of December, so it's the Prism Printmas Advent Calendar Day 12. Welcome. Um, I hope you're all doing well out there. It's a Saturday. It's the weekend. Just to remind people, you never know, do you? You never know what day of the week it is at the moment. Uh, so what have we got for you tonight? Um, don't forget if you're new to the stream, uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more of this stuff. I promise after December, I won't be barraging you with constant <laughs> live streams. I thought this would just be a bit of a fun thing to do on the run down to Christmas. Um, but hey, there we go. And I've been contemplating doing something a little special on Christmas Day maybe some sort of giveaway or something like that but we will see so let's see how that goes um so tonight i don't have an advent calendar to open for you that's not till tomorrow the next one uh tonight's shout out is oh this web page isn't loaded properly it's to oh, i need to uh, actually set that up properly as well don't i that'd be a good start Chris O'Connell. Hi, Chris. Friend of the show, friend of mine. Uh, I uh, spoke to Chris uh, recently on the Sunny 16 Presents podcast channel um, about his practice. Um, and he's a great photographer and he's just released his latest book called Ungrateful Heart. Um, he's quite an experimental darkroom printer. Uh, and I'll give a direct quote from his website here. Uh, combining imagery with text, inks and dyes to interact with his work to deconstruct, destroy and alter. Um, AKA he dyes his prints in beetroot and onion juice. There we go. So do check that out uh, and check out the podcast as well. I will put the links in the show notes. So tonight um, I am doing this let's just quickly have a look at what i did last night so i printed this negative on some old paper uh, got that handy this ilford fiber stuff which was from 92 i think uh, i was quite pleased with the results uh, they've come out quite flat um like they're lacking in contrasting that's down to the paper and i have a selenium toned one today um so I'm just letting that dry now and I will come back to that at some point to give an update of where I'm going with it. I think my thoughts at the moment are I'm going to have to expose it a lot more to get the contrast in there to get some more rich blacks in it and then do a lot of dodging basically to bring out some highlights as well. Um, but I think it's worth it. I'm like, I really like the image and the way it's being represented on that paper very happy with it's kind of really complementing the kind of texture of the wall chair so in my mind it's worth pursuing and carrying on to get a really nice print out of this so tonight um right so i was having a chat with another friend tara about mirroring in video so when you edit video uh, one of the things you can do is like split screen in half and just mirror the footage either horizontally or vertically and uh, that reminded me of uh, a TV program called Trackers, right? So this, um, in the intro to this, it uses lots of kind of split kind of composite and mirroring techniques. Um, and I particularly like this frame here where you've got an urban, it's set in uh, South Africa, I think. Um, it's an urban environment and a landscape as well. And there's lots of other examples of it as well. Like this shot here is, is really nice. Let's see if I can bring that up a bit bigger. Uh, especially in motion because all the birds are flying off <coughs> excuse me, the top of the building as this is happening. Um, but what I thought I'd do tonight is have a go at doing like a composite um, sort of image in the dark room as well on a similar idea. Um, so I had a quick look through my negatives. What I really wanted to do was find um, a... Sorry, I just need to look this up. Um, I find 
images from a similar location. And so this is uh, the Olgas in Australia, uh, near Uluru. Um, and I really wanted a, an image of Sydney to, like, to complement with it. But it turns out I didn't take any, well, I can't find any photos of like the Sydney skyline that I took on film. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. I've got a vague memory of developing film in Sydney. Did I man maybe I didn't manage to buy any more film when I was there, so maybe I didn't. Oh, I'm just not a huge fan of, of urban environments, really, for... I don't know. I d at the time, I wasn't. Anyway, so I haven't got any shots of Sydney, but I have uncovered one of New York. Uh, I haven't taken a photo of that yet, which I'm going to put on the top, because that's got a classic skyline. Um, and I've got a nice kind of almost horizontal shot that will sit in that. So my first phase is to do one half of the print using this um, and I have already done my test strip so that looks like that in the dark there we go so what I wanted to do was um, like the sky in this image is as you can see it gets darker towards the top of the frame and I've got to make sure I don't expose anything there so I'm actually going to dodge all that anyway but on the test strip, I'm making sure that the area around the, um, the mountains are is, is, is white, basically. Um, and I'm getting detail. I don't think you can see that in that because it's a bit of a rubbish camera. So anyway, I've selected my uh, exposure that I'm going to do it at. And let's do the print. Hope you're all doing well out there. Don't forget to drop a message in the chat box or in the comments if you're watching it on catch up. Um, right, so everything should be set up. Make sure I get the right paper. So that's in, okay? So I need to dodge out the top of this. Exposure time is 11 seconds, just over 11 seconds. And basically, I'm just going to be moving the card like this over the top. Uh, I might try and curl it a bit, just so I can make sure it fits around the, the mountain range. Okay. And I'm not going all the way to the top of the paper, because I definitely want that to be to not be exposed. There we go. And into the developer. So this is just the first part. My, I just want to make sure I've got this right before continuing. Um, my plan is to, um, for the next one, I will do a second test strip with the other negative, get the exposure right for that. And then when it comes to swapping over, I will probably put a, so the filter trays that I've got, the, the Ilford uh, multigrade filters, um, it comes with a filter that you can put in that's a safe filter. So you can see the image on the paper without it exposing. So I'll put that in, focus the next image. We my filters just come off the screen. Uh, talking of filters. Um, I, yeah, I'll put that in, focus the next negative, and then do the exposure. It doesn't matter which way around I'm going to be doing the exposures. But I just want to do this one just to see. I think I've underexposed that. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I will do the next stage of this. I need to 
put the ne next negative in, do the test strips, do a test exposure, and then I'll just combine the two. Hopefully. See what happens. Now stop. And into the fix. Um, what else was I thinking? Oh yeah, so the the frame with the it really kind of makes you think about um, going back to the start. So I was digging through my negatives to try and find something appropriate for this. But actually, it kind of makes you think if you were to do and create something like this from scratch, what sort of images you'd want to be capturing. Um, so that might be a little project for the future, maybe using some of the film that I've got from this advent calendar. Just turn all these lights on. And now to fix it. I didn't quite get that right on the exposure. Oh well, fortunately it's only a test. Evidently I can't count my test strip. But I'll bring that over just so you can see it. Make sure it's fully dripped out first. Clean. Uh, bring that up full screen. There we go. Right, so there's no exposure on the top half at all. And that's where I will then have an upside down image of a skyline to go tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. That's all right, I definitely need to add a bit more exposure to that. <laughs> Image, it's a bit washed out. Um, and I will continue with that tomorrow. So don't forget, you can check out my work on my website and subscribe to my patronage there. Anyone fed up with me promoting this yet? <laughs> We get plenty of subscribers, I can stop promoting it, can't I? <laughs> right, I shall see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.